Bama and Kansas's number one player in offensive tackle have their dates set in Tuscaloosa as spring practice rolls on. Bama basketball getting ready for the biggest game in program history as a colossal underdog. We're going to talk about that and more. Welcome to the Bama Tailgate YouTube channel. Make sure that you guys like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. That's a great way of saying Roll Tide and hit the bell. So you know when we're live with content, we're dropping new shows. And uh, we appreciate everyone for being here. Uh, this is a great place to hang out. If you like talking Bama, if you're a Bama fan, Bama Tailgate YouTube, your place to be. And here's your invitation. But he said, everybody, welcome to the Bama Tailgate YouTube channel. And it is great to say roll tide to everyone out there at Broadcaster Mick on the socials. And it has been just a, an, an incredible ride talking Bama basketball and the Final Four and everything that's going on there. So we're going to get into that. We're going to talk basketball, but let's get into football. Uh, you know that uh, practice was yesterday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. And then a week from Saturday, we'll have the 8A game. And then two days after that, the transfer portal opens. So I'm expecting things to be crazy, see how this practice goes, the game and everything else. And then the transfer portal. Some guys are going to leave. Some guys are going to come in. That's the way it goes. But uh, it's exciting. It's an exciting time for the way that uh, this team is starting to get put together. And um, it's exciting to see all of the players that are coming in to basically be recruited and eventually come to Alabama. And one of those guys who has set his visit is five-star offensive tackle, the number one player in the state of Kansas, Andrew Babaloa. Now, Babaloa is coming on April 6th, and he is a five-star prospect according to 24-7 Sports. Now, the other uh, sites have him as a four-star but look, he, no matter what you think of five star or four star, this guy is an elite player. He's the number one player in the state of Kansas. He's uncommitted right now from Blue Valley Northwest High School. That's in Overland Park in Kansas. And that's a, a place where a lot of great players are developed. This is a guy, Babaloa, who is an extremely good athlete plus a basketball player and then eventually started playing football and became, you know, one of the best offensive line prospects in the country late in his career. And he has just gotten better and better as he learns football. So, I mean, a lot of the stuff that he's done football wise has been learning on the fly. So he's coming to Tuscaloosa. This staff has been on Babalua since they were in Washington Courtney uh, Morgan, who is the GM of the staff and recruiting, has been uh, really uh, in contact with Babaloa. They want him to come in. And then, you know, of course, Kalen DeBoer, who's uh, proven to be excellent at it. And then, of course, Chris Kap uh, Kapilovic, the offensive line coach, has been in contact with uh, with Babaloa. So Kapilovic would love to have him uh, as part of the group. And Alabama will have to fight Kansas State. It's become a good program, and Kansas too. Both of them have become very good programs. But um, Kansas State, Oklahoma, Nebraska, Iowa State, uh, you're talking about uh, Auburn and Tennessee in that mix as well. The guy's got you know scholarship offers from all over the place. And uh, this will be Alabama's chance to get in front of them. And, I mean, who wouldn't want to – you know, a five-star offensive lineman, offensive tackle to join the mix. So um, that's on April the 6th. And, you know, we'll keep an eye on all of these guys as they come through Tuscaloosa and uh, and see. And some some days are bigger than others. You know, sometimes you, you look at guys and they're like, hey, you know, um, they're just coming to get a look. They're committed to other places. And then some guys have a wide-open recruitment you know, like this, where you might be able to sway him and a visit to Tuscaloosa could do that. 
Show's brought to you by newlifeart.com. Use the promo code Bama Tailgate. You get 15% off of the uh, the really great fourth and 31 print of Jalen Milrow stunning Auburn on the last play of the game, or really the last meaningful play. And I, I love the print. I think it looks fantastic. I saw the prototype when I was at New Life Art last week. And um, you guys, again, you, you're using the promo code, and I can't thank you enough as you pimp out your man cave, but keep doing it. And you can at, uh, again, newlifeart.com, bam, a tailgate. Now, I, I'm bringing it up because I'm wondering if we're going to get our second Daniel Moore basketball print. Uh, could Mark Sears end up on one of Danny's canvases? I think it's a possibility. I think it's a possibility. I think you guys want it, and uh, hopefully he hears the, <laughs> the call uh, because the only other print that has ever been done by Daniel Moore of basketball was that amazing Antoine Petway lay-in print that I finally got my hands on, uh, and I'll be hanging it up in the studio so you guys can see it sometime soon. But there's just not many of them. But this, going to the Final Four, and I, I, I really do think it's that step-back shot on Clemson and, you know, that everybody's been talking about that is that signature moment for this year's basketball team. Um, you know, we're just, just fantastic. So we'll see what happens there. But Bama playing Connecticut, and uh, we know that the game is going to be Saturday, and uh, it is David versus Goliath in the world of basketball. It really is. Um, Bama is a huge underdog. Um, it, it's a 11-and-a-half point spread right now. And in the world of gambling, I mean, you know, they're trying to do everything they can to get somebody to take – Alabama, but Connecticut has just been unstoppable. Uh, it's a 749 central time tip on Saturday out in Arizona. You know, is, is Alabama just happy to be there or are they going into this really feeling like they have an opportunity to win the game, right? I mean, look at that. Uh, Connecticut with a 71.6% chance of winning and um you know it, that's what we saw last year Connecticut spanked Alabama and then Bama went and beat North Carolina so maybe we we do it the other way beat North Carolina and then take out Connecticut looking for you know uh, you know chinks in the armor of this uh, national championship winning Connecticut team they won the title last year and they are the odds on favorite to win it again this year. Where could Alabama do some damage? And I've talked to a lot of you guys about it and really feels like Sears versus Newton. You know, could Alabama dominate the guard play? And I think that that's what it's going to take in my mind to, to be able to, you know, play this game and win it. If, if Bama could hit the threes and really keep this Connecticut team off balance where, you know, you're running their big man up and down the floor. You play a really fast paced game and you score a lot. Maybe you get to the basket before he does. Uh, that would be the way that I could see, you know, maybe Alabama doing it. And, and they've only lost three times all year. And the three teams had someone to match up with the big man. Um, so, for Alabama to win, it's going to take, you know, a lot of great shooting and guard play and then, you know, maybe some luck as well. But you got to hit your free throws. You got to do all the little things right if you're going to win this this matchup. So we'll keep on breaking it down. It is exciting, though, to say the least, that Alabama's in the Final Four. And then on the other side, it's uh, Burns, who's – I think the the – really the most fun player to watch in this tournament, the big man from NC state used to be at Tennessee and transferred, uh, you know, against Purdue and their big man at seven, four. Right. So, I mean, these are all a bunch of giants and then there's Bama, but anything can happen. And that's kind of what our hope is. All right, guys. Uh, again, appreciate you hanging out. Show's brought to you by uh, newlifeart.com promo code Bama tailgate. We'll keep on uh, looking at this matchup, talking basketball, 
We'll have uh, some of our friends on with us uh, again tomorrow, and uh, we'll keep on talking Bama. But uh, roll tide, everybody, and we'll get back at it again with you really soon. 